So, you just got your new Apple TV and are super fascinated about its speed. But what if I told you there is a hidden setting that makes apps launch even faster? Stick around as I show you this and a few other must-know tips and settings. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you do appreciate Apple TV or Shield TV content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's go. So, just like in Android TV, there's a setting that allows the Apple TV to be a bit faster than stock. But before I show you that, I am surprised that people still use this linear style keyboard. It's quite hectic to type on this keyboard style and you'll need to switch to a grid format for a better experience. To do that, navigate to Settings, General and click Keyboard Layout. Choose Grid and Exit Settings. You will now see that the keyboard is in grid format making it far easier to reach across letters while typing. Let's now talk on how to make apps launch faster. In this side-by-side -side view, slowed down to half speed, you will note that the Infuse app launches faster on the right side. I have achieved this by reducing the animation duration. To do so, go to Settings, Accessibility, Motion, and then turn on Reduce Motion. You will now see that apps launch faster than before. Have you ever wanted to quickly dim your TV in the dark without having to reach for the TV remote? You can do that by setting an accessibility shortcut called Reduce White Point. It is found at the bottom of the list of accessibility shortcuts. Selection or deselection of any item in the list is confirmed by the tick on the right. When selected, pressing the back button on the remote three times will dim the screen. Three times more and the brightness will be restored. Finally, if for some reason your Apple TV remote acts up, you can quickly reset it by pressing the home and volume down button simultaneously for 5 seconds until the status light on the Apple TV box turns off and on. A message will appear on the top right of the screen confirming disconnection of the remote. A few seconds later, a second remote connected message will appear confirming reconnection of the Apple TV remote. That's it my friends, if you found these tips helpful, please show your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, cheers!